Hi, my name is Stephanie Towery and I'm a librarian at Texas State University. Today I want to talk about Creative Commons licenses, what they are, um, a little bit more detail about each of the different licenses and how the license functions. So the first thing I want to show you is the three layers of each license. There's a really great illustration on the Creative Commons website, creativecommons.org, that I want to show you. All of the um, shots of the computer screen today are from creativecommons.org. So, here we go. Um, I think this is just a really um, good illustration of the three parts. This part, the human readable part, is the part most people are familiar with. That is a layperson terms description of the license. It basically tells you what you can do with the license and what restrictions are on it. There also, underneath each license, is a legal code. So that is actually the agreement that you make with the potential user when you license your material, Creative Commons licenses. And then there's the third one, which is the mach machine readable portion or the metadata. And that's the software code that works when you are searching for a Creative Commons license material. So. That's what I wanted to show you. And um, next I wanna talk about the four um, license conditions that apply to Creative Commons licenses. They are attribution, so CC BY is attribution only, but attribution is required of all six licenses. And attribution just means that you have to give credit. And that usually is the title, the author, the kind of license it is, and then where you found it. And we'll, we'll have a video just on how to do attribution later, but that's the general idea. Um, the next one is a non-commercial. So an NC marked license would not be for commercial use. And the thing that you should remember about NC is that it applies to the use, not the user. So you may be a nonprofit enterprise with a commercial use. You're going to make money from the use. That's um, commercial. It's not non-commercial, so you shouldn't use non-commercial NC marked um, work for that commercial use. Um, you could be a commercial enterprise, you're making money on a day-to-day -day basis, but your particular use in this case is non-commercial. You're not going to make money, you're going to give it away. Um, so then you could use an, an NC licensed uh, work. So just remember, it's the use, not the user. Um, the third one is share alike. So share alike is the copy left license in Creative Commons. So if you're aware of software licensing, they, they use copy left. And that just means that you have to put a license on, you have to put the same license on the work that you're creating from that work that you're using that that work that you're using has. So if you're using CC BY SA material, you're going to have to license your work CC BY SA. So you're going to actually, if you borrow someone's work, you're going to have to share your work. Um, and then no derivatives. So no derivatives means you can't adapt or alter the material if you're going to share it. So you, you can't really change it. You have to use it as is. So now I want to talk about the six different licenses. So the reason there's six from these four different conditions is because there's some that are a combo. Um, and I just want to show you what they look like. Let's see. And the, the icons. So this is the CC BY. This is the most open license and it's attribution only. So you can use anything marked with this. You can use it, you can adapt it, you can have a commercial use. Then the next one is attribution share alike. So you can use this material even commercially. You can adapt it, but you do have to attribute it and you're gonna have to license it as a, so you're gonna also have to license your work share alike. Attribution no derivative, so CC by ND, this is the one that you can't adapt the work. So you have to use it as is if you're going to share it. Attribution non-commercial. So this is the one where you want to um, have a non-commercial use. So CC by NC, so use not the user, you can't make money off of it. Attribution non-commercial share alike. Um, so this is CC by NCSA. This is a share alike license. 
where you can't have a commercial use. You have to attribute, you can't have a commercial use, and your work that is created from this um, has to be licensed share-alike as well. And then the most restrictive license is attribution, non-commercial, no derivative. So it's CC by NC and D, you can't have a commercial use and you can't adopt it. So that's a bit about what I wanted to show you. I do want to show you this um, license deed. So this is the human readable portion of the license. And I just want to show you what it looks like. Um, that's the long title. And it tells you what you can do with it. And then it tells you the restrictions. So you have to attribute, no commercial use. You can't adapt it if you're going to share it. Also, I want to show you that from these human readable, you also can click out to the legal code. So this is the actual agreement. And these agreements are actually, they apply worldwide. They're international agreements. If they're 4.0, that's the most uh, recent version. And ah, I want to talk a little bit about public domain marks. So there's six licenses, but then there's two additional ones that apply to the public domain. One, CC0, is the mark that you would use if you want to dedicate your work um, to the public domain, if you want to waive your copyright. Now, it's not allowed in all countries, so um, in some places you, you can use it, but you may not actually, it may not be effective in waiving your rights, but that's no rights reserved, and this is the icon for that. And then the other one is the public domain mark. So this is for material that you find that has no known copyright. So this is how it would be marked. And I think that's it. Uh, there's one more consideration that I want to talk about, and that is that um, CC licenses work in conjunction with the copyright law that's underlying um, um, that underlies the licenses. And so if you have an exception to copyright in your jurisdiction, like we have fair use, Commonwealth countries have fair dealing, if you want to rely on fair use or you think you have a strong fair use argument, um, you don't really have to um, uh, abide by the restrictions in the Creative Commons license. So you could still rely on fair use if you had a CC by NC um, if your commercial use was was fair, or you believed it to be fair, you wouldn't actually have to attribute it, for instance, and you wouldn't have to abide by that NC restriction. So it really depends on your jurisdiction and what the exceptions are as to what you can do, but just know that um, Creative Commons licenses, um, that they work in, in conjunction with those exceptions. Um, one thing about that that I really, I always, tell people to attribute their work even if they're relying on fair use, but technically you don't have to. I, I encourage people to do it because I think it's a best practice, especially because we're talking, we're in a scholarly environment and you have the problem of plagiarism, which is really not the same as copyright, and attribution can help you with plagiarism. So one way to combat um, being accused of the the pitfall of plagiarism is to always attribute your work. So there's there's other reasons you might want to attribute something. I just wanted to put that out there. I think that's everything. Um, we will be coming out with more videos, so um, stay tuned. Thanks.